So that's the door. I wanted it to come all the way down. It does go all the way up. We added um, another wall. And uh, we didn't video it because it was just like simple stuff. And the wall was already together. It was just a piece that we had. So we didn't video the door because it gave us a whole bunch of problems. And, uh, but it does shut. It won't stay shut. We're still going to put um, some more pieces of wood on here so we can put the locks on. And then this part will be done. And still going to fix that. And then we, we uh, cut out the hole so they could get out to the run. I haven't started the run yet. But, and that's for their sandbox. So, so they can dust in it. But that's what we got done so far. Yeah, look at that colony, the size of that thing. Ooh. Need to ask him. See, I'm not sure if, if that's one colony and the, the lights are just black like that because that's what they do. Or that's actually two different, I think it's two different colonies. But I thought they had to fly off to mate, not like gather in a group like that. Okay, so now we got part of the run done. Got a ramp going down. Got the base. That's going to be the back wall. It's not going to be as tall as that. It's only going to be as tall as the um, roll of mesh, but that's what we got so far. And we didn't have to do it that way, but that's just the way I wanted to do it. Because I wanted it to be an actual ramp. So. Okay, this is not a permanent structure by any means. My mom gave me this poultry netting she found. And um, we got, you know, hermit crab sandbox over here. That we're filling up with water. And, uh. The, p the pigs are getting neighbors, but not new neighbors. There are already residents here on the farm. We're going to put the chickens and ducks in here during the day. So this way, the ducks can go swimming, and they could scratch and stuff, and then they're going to go back in the coop at night, because it's just they're just getting too big to be in there all the time, and I feel bad. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put them in here, so this way they can run around. And then, uh, like I said, we'll get them at night and put them back in the coop. So here they are, and it needs cleaned out today too, so that's going to, you know, help with that situation. Plus the uh, little crab thing we were talking about could also be for water for them. You're going to be like Thor was, huh? This is Hank, our rooster. Be friendly. He didn't run from William, he just let William pick him up. You're going to be a friendly, so. friendly birdie? Chicken. Chicken, no, rooster. All right, go ahead. How are we going to do it? Just put him in there. He's like, I'm, I'm not a duck, man. I know you're not a duck, but I wanted him to see where the water was at. Right. Now, please, I get a ducky. I'm getting a ducky. I knew he could get What's out. What's that, Hank? He's like, whoa. Whoa. Are you going to try and peck at me now? Uh -oh. No, he doesn't. He doesn't realize no, he they doesn't can go the other way. Move. He doesn't know what that is. No, no, I don't like peg. I like peggy. Right, you ready? Here we go. This is the first time they've been on grass, ground, whatever you want to call it, so. <laughs> it's my grandson Clark's duck. He named him Pew Pew. No! 
So Hank got out and he came right to me, let me pick him up, put him back in there. It'll be alright. No, he jumped over. He flew. Do you understand? They can fly. Whoever okay. says chickens and roosters can't fly are full of shit. <laughs> Right, right. Hey, duckies. Oh, the other one's over. Good. So cool seeing them on the ground for a change. Mm-hmm. Hey, chicken, did you see the pigs? When chickens and ducks meet pigs. There is a fence in between them, and we know that they could be together, but we just want them separate. Look, man, I'm gonna mind my own business. <laughs> Bethany's like, I I'm over it. <laughs> You smell funny. You see, your head's thinking, we gotta be neighbors with these guys? <laughs> Seriously? Put a fur coat on them this time of year. Then you kind of know what they feel like. They got feathers. When you don't have a stump grinder and you need a stump removed badly. back and forth with the circular saw and I don't know if you can see that or not but there's like a square pattern and now he's going in with uh, his sawzall yeah sawzall and uh, he's going over the bottom the main reason why he's doing this we need to get the van in here because we're going to move that. We are not going to use that next year for the kids to sleep in. We're going to make that into a chicken coop. Chickens are over there running around. And they are getting too small for this brooder. So that's going to be the chicken coop. I did want it for my she shed, but I, I, I love the chickens more than a she shed. So... So he, he gave up on trying to cut it out and now they're trying to dig it out. He, is, he did cut some of the roots and stuff. Determined to get this thing out of there. Okay, so I'm going to try to get this quail hutch done today, minus the roof. So, as you see, we got mesh on this door. Had to put some wood right here because there was a gap for that door. Got locks on the doors. And we just got to finish this door. And like I said, we're big on reduce, reuse, recycle. So there was some mesh on this other piece um, that we didn't need it, the mesh on it no more. So we took it off. 
It was actually over top of this that we had for something else a while back. So we just took the mesh off there because it doesn't need to be there no more. And um, we're going to use this for the grow out pen for the rabbits. There is a big hole right here, but we'll just flip flop it like, you know, like that. And then the holes will be gone, but, you know, it'll be facing another way. So that's what we're going to do there. And um, we're going to try to get that stump out so we can move the camper. So, you know, we dig this out. He got a chain underneath the stump, and he's going to use the the vehicle to pull it out. Yank at least pull it enough so that we can get it a little more loose and exposed so that I can dig the rest of the knot. Let's see how good this will do. I can't even see anything, but... I feel like it will do something. He's gonna back up. We got like multiples of these roots out. I don't even know where they all went. I think they're buried under all this dirt right here. We have like a ring of dirt around here. Somebody's gotta let me know when to stop. I didn't want this up. So okay. I can't see the damn thing. So when I get like right over it. Alright. Alright, stop. When I'm lining up like that, I yeah, that's what I want. I want to be over the chain because then I know it'll reach. It'll, it'll hitch. We're gonna try and pull this baby out. I've been working on this while he's been working on that stump. It's it's still not done, but um, so right here we got the little hutch part. 
that they uh, go in to get out of the weather. So inside here is going to be their sandbox. And there's their ramp to go down. Okay, so then on this side we got two doors because the run's kind of big and this way if they lay eggs underneath the ramp I can still get to them. Now this door goes all the way to the ground and opens up all the way. Um, this one I have to cut a little bit on the bottom. William was getting the stump out so that's why uh, he wasn't helping me with part of this. So right here is where it just needs to be cut a little bit and then the door will go down all the way but there we go there's the inside of their run and their little ramp up to their peekaboo hole I think it turned out pretty good so 95% done ran out of supplies so we gotta get some more supplies and then this will be another thing done I thought that, that means we can take it home we're not taking the stump home Let's hope here. this works. We got the car for a reason. And for a reason. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ah! It's coming. Oh! It's coming up. It's coming up. Come on. Come on, go. Keep on doing it. Maybe Come we need on. to, like, Yes, it came up higher. Uh, no more. Don't break the van. He's having a hard time if getting back because he's making the ruts. Van, don't you think it would already did it before? Right? Uh, I mean, it technically did. Oh. Oh my Yo, God. okay, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh my God. Get back. Second thoughts. It's like coming up like all the way over here. Okay. It's there. It. Come on! Let's do this! <laughs> yes! I was waiting for my band to break. Oh my god, look at that! Wow! Woo! That a boy! Wow, that thing is huge. Look at the roots on it. We've been trying to get this out. Faith. Goodbye from the Wallace Farm!